dolls welcome back to my channel the hair i know i just feel like i should talk like this because it's getting very like 90s country club housewife i love it so you guys will see in my next doll diary vlog that i get a silk press i'm behind on filming i'm behind on editing so you guys will see this video either before the vlog or after the vlog i'm not sure we have a bag reveal my very first vintage bag i'm so excited and if you can tell by the dust bag it is from the house of gucci this is my very first vintage bag my very first bag from gucci as you guys can see by my vanity i love vintage things and i've been searching for my very first vintage handbag for the past two years i've been wearing it for a good amount of time now so it's almost like a little review i'll be doing mod shots showing you dolls what fits inside and also giving a bit more detail about shopping pre-loved my advice that will be in the blog post listed down below and it'll also talk about price and i'll also have similar bags to this one that's in great condition because this one's in great condition i mentioned that in my previous doll diary vlog in my last homemaking vlog that i'm really interested in building my handbag capsule collection okay and this one now i'm only what one or two bags away technically i'm one bag away i do have a birthday present that i have to share with you dolls but i wanted to do this one first and then I will have one left to complete the collection. But if you are new here, I post every week on femininity, elegance, and homemaking. I love life slow to luxuries. Let's go ahead and reveal this handbag dolls. has like that cool 90s minimalist 90 type of look to it i love the black canvas i mean it's gorgeous it's gucci but it's not you know super loud i will literally take this to the park with me take it to the grocery store to the mall wherever i want to go travel with it i'm going to a farmer's market i'm carrying flowers with me water can get on it it's not the end of the world another pro of this bag is the fact that gucci like this is one of their signature logos i believe it's called gucci supreme they have other ready to wear items which is next on my wish list in this print so if you want to have a gucci girl moment like i do like i just love this print and they have this print in other styles that's in nylon and this bag kind of reminds me of like the prada re-edition and also the Celine Ava which I do like initially I am a top handle girl like I love top handles 100% but the shoulder bag it just looks cool on you I love the way that it hangs it's not like a regular just circle moon it's really like an oblong moon there's a wider amount of space here which I love it just looks really cool this bag is very similar to the bags that are currently in style another pro is the fact that it has a detachable strap you can wear this crossbody I love that or you could tie a twilly around it and kind of do like a little clutch situation I will be surprised to see if it looks really really good or not because I haven't filmed that part yet but it just popped up in my mind last night because I was like you can't wear this as a clutch and I was thinking wait what if you put like little twillies on it or something <gasps> Stop. I'm gonna start wearing this handbag like this isn't that cute I've never done this like this is I've had this bag for a while now and I've never done this. This is so cute. Yes, ma'am. Love this. And I don't mind leaving the bag open like this because even if it's open, here's a pro, it's still like closed in. This is a perfect way to make this bag evening or just like every day, but a bit more evening friendly. Hi dolls. So I was, I'm going to show you dolls what's inside of this bag, what fits inside of this bag. I'm actually vlogging right now because we are going to go to the museum and look at a couple of our exhibits, which I'm excited about. I'm going to share with you dolls what all fits inside of here. Amazing little card holder pouch. My ID and change and money is inside of here. And then also my makeup pouch. This thing is going to be bulky and filled up okay a lip gloss a hanky hand lotion pens eyebrow pencils lip pencils 
nail polish, nail clippers. I'm gonna definitely put this inside of, oh my gosh. I need to not do that next time because I almost ruined my little Gucci compact. Tylenol pills. Okay, so this is going to be jam packed with all of your necessities. Okay, so we have that. We have our little wallet inside of here, our phone. Do our keys, chunky keys. This is canvas bag, so it doesn't really need a cover like so. AirPods. So I'm also going to do my camera because I'm vlogging when we go to the museum. I'm gonna put our camera in here. Do -do 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 -do. So here it is. So we have the phone. We have the chunky makeup pack with lotion, vitamins, Tylenol. And then we have a chunky camera in here, which can be anything inside of your life. Um, for you to exchange. Oh, and, and keys are in here too. Let's sip it, darling. Very gay. Ta-da! So this all fits inside of here. Also, water bottle fits in here, which I'm going to bring with me, but I never put it inside of here, really. So I'm taking out the bulky camera, which is about three inches thick. By, by the way, almost three inches thick. Sorry, darlings. Keys, AirPods are already in there. Let's put the water bottle. Do British people ever get annoyed whenever <laughs> us Americans do their accent? Because I feel like they actually have a fun time doing the American accent, especially if it's like a Cali girl or kind of like a ratchet accent. So, on to raise. Oh my gosh, okay, it fits, but my water bottle's leaking, so let me take it out now. Sorry, okay, okay. Okay, it's here. In the first video that I recorded, a 32 ounce Hydro Flask does fit in there too, which is impressive. It does. So I'm about to leave now. Um, we're going to the museum. Here's how the purse looks on me. So here's like a better look. Not a big bag by any means, but just the design of it and the structure of it. You can fit so much and I feel like this is a great thing for your bag. A lot of Gucci bags in general are very well priced on the vintage market. Like I was shocked. I know Chanel is Chanel, but some of their prices for their vintage bags skyrocketed like and it's just now finally calming down i'm going to share with you dolls the pros and the cons let's just start off with the pros one i can wear this in the rain and not shudder and worry i would never take out my lady dior's all of my other handbags are lambskin by the way so i'm really happy to have a canvas bag a bag that you don't have to worry so much about scratches okay i love the fact that it has the leather throughout there's no ripping in the canvas here the fact that it has so much space i mean that's a huge pro i love the fact that the zipper has leather around it too so that just makes it a lot more durable this canvas this fabric canvas bag here from gucci super durable the only con that i can think of because majority of this bag is canvas these here will always kind of like collapse in like this if i sit this in the car and i put it in the seat on the seat next to me it always folds down like this does this have significant wear on the leather not that I can see. It's just the fact that it folds in. So sometimes it's like you have to just pull it up and then unzip. Would that ever stop me from purchasing or wearing this handbag? No, okay? There's too many pros to it. Dolls, thank you so, so much for joining me. Let me know what video you want to see next. Click the blog post, of course, to check out more details and more gorgeous vintage Gucci bags. All right, dolls, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, dolls. Thank you.